Now imagine having an access bridge washed away with no other way to get to and from your home. That is exactly what a family in Wyoming Borough experienced after Friday's flooding. But tonight, that family is a temporary fix. 2822's Gianna Gali is live in Wyoming to explain. Good evening, Gianna. Good evening, Mark. Bridget Harvey, owner of the property, tells 2822 News the bridge that was destroyed was the only access point to the homes. Now, tonight, the family is making things work for now with the help of a family friend who came this early this morning to help install that footbridge that you see located behind me. However, Harvey wants a permanent fix and says this isn't the first time this has happened. In fact, the first time that there's been heavy flooding and the bridge needed repairs was in 2006. The second time was in 2017 and Harvey says it cost $30,000. But both times damage wasn't nearly as severe as this. Harvey says this footbridge has allowed her husband to get to work and her children to get to football practice. Neighbors and people in the community have been trying to help them out, providing them with groceries and food. But she says officials haven't helped in permanently fixing the problem since the first time it happened. But it's been an issue for years. I've been fighting with PennDOT and DEP for years, begging them, you've got to do something. Dredge the creek because up further there's a dam with huge logs and roots and they would not fix it. And I told them this was going to happen and here we are. Harvey says the logging company that's a couple streets up from this location where we're at right now came earlier today to remove some of those logs and relocate them to another location. And I don't know if you can hear right now, Mark, but that heavy flow stream of water mixed in there with pieces of the guardrail and, of course, the bridge. We did reach out to the Department of Environmental Protection earlier today and are awaiting a response. For now, live in Wyoming, Gianna Gali, 2822 News. Mark. Yeah, first, I thought that was traffic. You absolutely could hear the roar of the water there. Thank you, Gianna.